Hey there Aquarius, this is Deborah, and yes, this is going to be your mid-month reading for March. Um, I read loads of your comments and I know you love the weeklies, but a lot of you have really missed the mid-monthlies. So I am going to be um, restarting those from this month going forwards, okay? TGIF will still be running, but just for the elements as opposed to the individual signs. So air, earth, fire and water, okay? For those of you who love the weeklies, it just gives me the time to get the mid-monthlies restarted. So Aquarius, I do hope you're well. Thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, I've been seeing a lot of um, images of water from Archangel Michael. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but very interestingly, Michael's then been showing me images that re relate to blocks. Okay. Um, he's shown me brick walls, um, stop signs with a red line through it. He's shown me gates that are closed, barriers. So there's something here, Aquarius, that may relate to, and the cards are really wanting to speak, um, that may relate to you putting barriers up against your emotions, not wanting to feel your emotions. Um, there's a very, very strong determination not to, how do I put this, <clears throat> really feel what, you, what you're feeling. It's almost as if every time your mind goes into the place of your emotions, you're telling yourself, no, I'm not doing it, I'm not going there, I'm not even thinking about it, when actually you are. So... Let's just see where this goes. Okay, guys, really unusual images from Archangel Michael. And let's start with our little vision. Okay, let's see if we can go a little bit more in depth for you. So here we go, guys. You ready? Oh, settling my emotions. There's, um, <sighs> Michael showed me the three of swords. It could be something to do with pain that you don't want to feel. Anyway, let's stay positive. Let's get into this. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. What do you have, please, for your main message for my Aquarius? This is mid-March 2020. Thank you, Michael. He's taking me out to the ocean. <laughs> okay, talking about emotions. He's taking me out to the ocean. There are a couple of guys in surf shorts, sunglasses they're kind of late teens i guess they're on okay they're on a boys trip they're on a boys trip cool one guy's carrying a load of scuba equipment the other guy's carrying a surfboard they're really excited they're really excited they're running out from their little what looks like a like a postal or something out onto the beach they're dumping all the stuff and they're just having a day to themselves, right? Two friends, they're out, they're enjoying the sunshine. It looks very um, exotic. Could be A, my, Michael's showing me an A, letter A. Oh, uh, okay, Australia, Great Barrier Reef. Okay, Australia, I just heard that. Um, okay, so they have, <clears throat> Michael's showing me a clock, time, time ticks on. And they've had a really fantastic day and they meet up and they... I was sitting in a cafe for a, a big glass of cold beer that really had um, a fantastic time. And the guy who was doing the scuba diving says to his, his mate, you know, you really should, you really should get your certificate. You really should, you know, get that done so you can come scuba diving with me. And the other guy says, no, I like skimming across the waves. I love the feeling of being up out up and out i can see a lot more you can see for miles when you're above the water and i don't really like going too deep it scares me it scares me i don't i don't like what's under there i don't like what's under there and his friend looks at him and says yes but you haven't you haven't lived if you haven't been under the water. There's so much to see. There's so much beauty under there. The guy's shaking his head. No, 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 no. 
I just, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. I, I don't, I don't want to do it. So the guy says, oh, it's a shame. Okay. Cause you're missing a lot, but yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Vision is fading. Vision is fading. Hmm. Aquarius. Male or female, there's someone here who is not wanting to go deep. Someone here is not wanting to face their emotions. They're keeping themselves very surface level, almost as if they are scared to go deep. They just don't want to dive into their emotions. Sorry, guys, it's a bit corny, <laughs> but that's what I'm hearing. Just, I'm not comfortable. I don't want to go there. Scary. So there could be someone here blocking, blocking their emotions. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. I get ya. Let's see what this reading brings. Okay, guys. Let's see what it brings. Yeah, Michael's telling me stop. Archangel Chamuel was with me today. And Archangel Jophiel. Interesting. <clears throat> wow. I'm suddenly having a, I'm feeling as if I'm getting a headache. I'm feeling a little bit shaky. And I'm feeling very, very hot. Someone doesn't want to delve into their emotions because it's very, very uncomfortable. It's very, very uncomfortable. Okay. All right, Aquarius, hang on in there, guys. Let's just see what we have. Okay, there's you. Well, Aquarius card coming out. Yeah, very accurate. All right. <clears throat> yeah, wow. Very strong Aquarian energy. Beautiful to see. Very strong Aries energy. You could be an Aquarius with Aries in your chart, or you could be connected to an Aries. We also have Libra shown. Okay, all right, we have Leo, shown strongly, and we have Taurus, okay. Energy under the deck, yeah, temperance in reverse. Very, very unbalanced emotions. This is a sign of Sagittarius. What is interesting, guys, if you look at that card, we do have somebody in the water, okay. I know this is symbolic of angelic guidance and support, being patient, okay, treading water. But that person has firmly got their head above water. They're looking at the flame. Wanting to keep themselves above water is what I'm hearing from Michael. Now, temperance in reverse, given that in the upright it can be just patience, this is impatience impatience or very unbalanced emotions okay wow okay under that is the seven of swords now this can be wanting to strategize in the reverse it has a slightly more positive connotation than in the upright but this could also be feeling very unbalanced because maybe someone lied to you deceived you cheated on you or i have to say maybe aquarius this was you in the past and even though that energy has now no michael's saying even though the situation now is long gone the energy is still there wow yes toxic energy unhealthy patterns of behavior is what i'm hearing Someone here has an enormous amount of guilt about the past very unbalanced emotions they don't want to go too deep for fear that they're just going to be wallowing in this, I'm going to say it, pain. I'm sorry, guys. Pain. Don't want to go there. Don't make me go there. Don't make me go there. <sighs> Capricorn energy underneath that is Pisces. Okay. Wow, guys. All right. <clears throat> Sorting myself out. So let's get into this. All right. You've been really patient. But the image is quite important. I know you can't see all the cards. Don't worry, I'll hold up each one. So Aquarius, we start with the fall in reverse.
this is you deciding, maybe after doing a lot of thinking, and Michael is underlining the word thinking in my head, using logical thought rather than emotions, you've decided not to take a leap of faith and a risk with something. No, not doing it, not doing it. Too risky, don't want to do it. But this could also be the energy of you preparing for a new start. But I'm hearing this time around, not wanting to do anything risky, underhand, fly by night. I'm getting the sense here, Aquarius, that someone here might have felt uncomfortable with what happened, a situation that happened in the past. And has been relying on their intellect, their practical nature to override a situation, but not wanting to go deep, override a situation, skimming the top of a situation, really not wanting to go deep through fear that if they went deep, it may cause them to change direction is what I'm seeing. To change direction. Yes, Michael's showing me a roundabout and someone... Someone going round and roundabout. What is this, Michael? Someone going round and round and roundabout. And there's a very... There's one big road with lots of signposts on it. The other two roads are dirt roads, are dirt roads. Michael's telling me shortcut. I almost feel as if you've cut your emotions short in a situation, could be relating to an Aries, maybe an Aries who's very unbalanced. You've taken a shortcut, Aquarius, you don't want to delve into the emotions. Crossing the energy of the fool in reverse, not wanting to take a risk, maybe something to do with an Aries who's a bit unbalanced. With the Three of Pentacles, you're not wanting to take a leap of faith and a risk. You are rebuilding. Now, you could want to rebuild a situation with somebody after an Aries left your life. Stabilising your foundation. What is interesting here, Aquarius, and I'm not surprised, there's a lot of thought, analysis, practicalities that you're thinking about. You are absolutely determined not to go anywhere near your emotions. There are no cups in this reading at all, which says to me that it may be that you don't want to feel your emotions. You're trying to do the logical thing, the practical thing. You're not wanting to take a risk and you are going absolutely nowhere near your emotions. Don't want to feel my emotions. No judgment. We've all been there. Sometimes it's a coping mechanism. It's a way of getting through a situation by just riding the wave, not going deep, keeping at surface level. And I think Aquarius, this is what you're doing. But the issue is, is that unless you are in touch with your emotions. It could well be that at a later date, things start to crumble. Because if you're not following your heart, eventually the divine will come in and force you, force you to think about your emotions, force you to go deep. Because they want you to live your authentic self. In the past, Seven of Wands in reverse, you no longer stood up for what you believed in. Um, this is also a lot of blocking energy. So, someone here let down their guard. And I'm feeling it might have been you, Aquarius. Someone here did let someone in. Could have been you, could have been someone else. We have a lot of fire energy. Someone did let someone into their heart. But I think in the past, 
even though there was a feeling of excitement, powerful feelings, energy that was very positive, very high vibe, even though it allowed you to somehow move out of a place of stagnancy, whether that was in a relationship with someone else, whether that was in a job, just a lifestyle where there was nothing going on. It was all about work, no play, right? Cobweb there. Even though when you let down your guard and you opened yourself up, you were no longer so defensive. Even though it got you out of this place in the past, I think it also caused you a great deal of heartbreak. Michael showed me the Ten of Swords. And I think that was so uncomfortable for you, so painful for you, that you shut the door on your emotions. You just completely shut the door. I'm not feeling it. I'm not going to go there. Because I think you were shocked and quite, quite scared of how much this affected you, whatever happened in the past. In your thoughts, five of pentacles in the reverse. Now, for some of you, you are rebuilding your finances after something happened. For some of you, you're wanting to close the gap between you and someone else by working on a partnership. Could be with an Aries, wanting to rebuild with an Aries. Wanting to build a solid connection. And I am feeling that this is someone that you might have been connected to. Things weren't going very well. Maybe you opened up your heart to let someone else in and that scared you because it really threw you into your emotions. So you shut that door and you thought to yourself, OK, I'm going to try and make things better. I'm going to try and improve my relationship with my partner. I forget, I'm going to forget about the person from the past. Skimming the surface, Aquarius. But I don't think you were true to your heart and I think you know that deep down. This could have been fear of financial loss. We have pentacles here. This could have been you just not wanting to face your true feelings. I don't want to go deep. I don't want to go deep. Big red stop sign. No, not doing it. Fear is coming through. The word fear, big time. Archangel Michael, when do we have the energy come through, please? In the immediate future. When, what is the timing of that card? Early May. I'm actually seeing the 5th of May in my mind. 5th of May. So from the 5th of May, you're sat in a King of Swords in reverse. Now, you could be connected to a fellow air sign. Or you could be this air sign. But this is someone who is not telling the truth. This is someone who is lying to themselves and possibly lying to someone else. And I think this is you potentially not wanting to admit the truth to yourself, that you still have feelings for someone in the past that you've shut the door on. And you may be lying to a karmic partner about how you feel about wanting to rebuild with them, wanting to secure that stability. Let's make things better. Let's put more effort into the relationship. But I don't think you're being true to yourself or the other person. They may, they may not know that underneath the surface Aquarius, you have all these emotions, right? All this churning emotion inside you that you are absolutely determined not to show and not to feel yourself. It is deep, 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 deep down. But you pushed it down to the extent that you are hoping those emotions won't come up again. They will. Your person is sitting in the energy of justice. Now, this is a legal contract. 
So this is someone who you might be married to who is just sitting in the energy, I'm fine, we're married, things are great. You could be connected to a Libra. As far as they're concerned, everything's fine, but you're lying to them. You're lying to them about how you feel about the marriage, how you feel about the partnership. Yes, you're rebuilding, you're trying to strengthen your partnership, but it's because you don't want the chaos that would ensue if you opened your heart and really felt those emotions, which is, I don't think I want to work on this anymore. I'm not happy. So you're deceiving yourself and you're deceiving your partner. What, for the sake of not wanting to have a little bit of drama? Not wanting to lose money. It's sad, Aquarius. I can hear a lot of you shouting at the screen, shouting at your phones. Well, remember this is only for one or two of you guys and I am a truthful reader. No point me just blowing smoke up your ass, right? I've got to be honest. So this is, this is a challenge, Aquarius. You don't want to go deep. This is you skimming the surface. And I think you know it. Your partner may not have any idea. Your partner, partner, I have, have to be honest, may be kind of sitting in la-la land thinking everything is perfect. It's not. What you are fearful of, Aquarius, is actually feeling those emotions. Absolutely scared to death. Don't want to do it. Big red stop sign. Not going to do it. This is healing. But this is a very emotional energy. This is also your star card. Fearful of feeling those emotions to maybe get that wish come true, which could be to go back to the past, where you did lower your guard, where you did open yourself up. And you did move yourself, even temporarily, out of this place of, I'm really unhappy, to I'm letting this awful situation I'm in go. But you're fearful of staying true to yourself, of feeling those emotions and potentially receiving your wish come true, which I'm feeling is, as I've said, possibly, possibly to consider how you really feel about this karmic partnership. I don't think you're happy. Your partner is sitting in justice. This is them feeling all is right with the world because everything's sorted. We're mending things. Where's the love? You're self-deceiving yourself. You're, you're deceiving yourself. You're not being honest with your partner. Your partner feels that they've got justice. They're nice and balanced. But where the hell is the love? There's no love here. This is logical thought and being practical. You're not following your heart. But I think what scared you is that in the past you felt all these emotions, you opened yourself up. And it's almost as if you shut and locked that door to that room with all your emotions in there. And you walked away and you thought, I'm never going to go back in that room again. But the issue is, Aquarius, you're very unbalanced, very unbalanced. Because in your quiet times, when you're on your own, waking in the middle of the night, first thing in the morning, you think back at the past at how happy you were in the situation with maybe someone else that I think you walked away from. And it disturbs you to the point where you force yourself to be logical, practical. Don't want to think about it? No. You push those feelings deep, 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 deep down. Those feelings aren't going to go away because those feelings are your authentic feelings, your true feelings. And the divine wants you to feel those. In your hopes, hoping to be seen by everyone else, to be doing the responsible thing, doing the right thing, taking control of the situation, being a good husband and father, doing well in your career. What about how you feel, Aquarius? What about how you feel? Yes, you may be looked at by other people as doing the right thing, taking responsibility, maybe supporting other people, being seen as, uh, you know, 
a pillar of support for others. But Aquarius, I do feel that at some point you are going to realise that you do need your own happiness. For some of you, you have pushed those emotions so, so deeply down that you've forgotten what makes you happy. You've been so caught up in what other people need from you. What will other people think of me? This could be a little bit of ego. Not wanting to be seen to do the wrong thing by people who may judge you. Who gives a damn? If you're unhappy, Aquarius, you have to face that. In the outcome, you are moving in one direction. You has been standing at crossroads for a while. I think you had a choice between going back to someone from the past or moving forward on your present path. This is you following one of those paths. For some of you, for some of you, you will realise that you're not happy and you will decide to make changes. For some of you, you are going to continue to live with a blindfold on until those feelings bubble up again and you will realise that the divine is asking you to choose your happiness Clarification, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is potentially you thinking about, in the past, offering stability to someone. Could have been a Taurus, could have been a Leo, could have been a Sagittarius. Any element, but those are the three signs shown. The Ace of Pentacles is you deciding not to do this because you didn't have the strength, the courage and the confidence to follow your heart. So whatever this situation was, you decided to walk away. Can't do it. Can't do it. Don't want to see it. Don't want to see it. Turning your back. Right underneath that, we have you deep in contemplation. Suffering from heartbreak because I think you fell in love with someone. Card in reverse, you took action on your thoughts, not your emotions. And I think you decided to work on a long-term partnership, possibly with a Taurus. If not, we have Aries here and Libra. Now, for some of you, you will delve into, into your emotions. You will decide to move down a new path and you will take action on your long-term commitment. And that action may well be to say to your partner, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't true to myself. I deceived myself. I wasn't honest with you. I met someone I didn't expect to. This is how I'm feeling. I think we need to think about separation. I hope that you think about this, Aquarius, because I think that no one should go through life feeling unhappy. There's no love here. And I think this is you needing to go deep when maybe it's very uncomfortable, you don't want to do it, you've shut the door. I just wouldn't want you to wake up in five, ten years time and think, why did I waste my life in a situation that I was unhappy in? Life is too short to be unhappy. Yes, for some of you, you may be saying, well, yeah, but there's money involved, there's kids involved, there are other people, I've got responsibilities. Yes, but if there is a way of balancing out the situation and being honest and truthful to yourself and others, isn't that better? You can rebuild your money. Your kids, as they grow up, would understand. They wouldn't want you to be unhappy. There's just no love here, Aquarius. 
So for two groups of you, you will decide eventually, could be in a few months, to get yourself out of a situation that you're unhappy in. For some of you, you are going to continue to wear the blindfold because you just don't want to access those deep emotions through fear of actually understanding, I am really unhappy. Don't want to go there, don't want to go there. If you don't go into your emotions, everything's fine, right? Aquarius, it's been a long reading. Thank you for staying with me. If you feel this is your story, do reach out, deborahclaire.com. I'm also on Instagram, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance. So for now, guys, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of you, and I shall be back very soon for your TGIF. See you then. Bye now. <laughs>